Can you hear okay? okay. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. So let me get started. First of all, Evo is the highlight of the year for me, and I've been saying this uh, since 2006 um, because it is. This year, I had the pleasure of uh, coordinating the team of uh, Evo 18, and I want to thank Mubarak, who's here today, online, virtually, uh, for making it happen, because if you hadn't asked me, I would never uh, have volunteered for this amazing, um, amazing work. <laughs> All right, so a little bit about me. Uh, you can read about it. Uh, I've been teaching English to speakers of other languages for the past 42 years, uh, from um, K-12, from junior high to uh, university, and um, trying to add technology. Somebody has their mic open, I think, so if there's a lot of background noise. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, okay. I'm sorry about my sensitive ears. Oh no, <laughs> I think, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll just uh, close it. Yeah, mute. All right, yeah. so the platforms that I've been using for Evo for the past, um, I guess, uh, six, seven years is uh, WizIQ, which is a synchronous platform, and Moodle. Now, the reason I've been using Moodle is because I find that Moodle allows the participants to communicate and learn together. I got the idea from um, a French German teacher, foreign language teacher, who um, Jean Paul Martin, who happened to contact me last week after all these years and he let me know that he added my work to Wikipedia next to his name, so I'm kind of grateful for that. And he connected on Facebook, so that just shows you um, how the internet really does bring us together. Maybe next year he'll join Evo, hopefully. The way um, you learn by teaching is the way we we do it. Most teachers are great learners because they need to know their material and they need to engage their students by teaching and through teaching. What happened on the Moodle is that my goal was to get my uh, the participants to um, be as active as they could be. I've had over 2,000 participants on EVO sessions, specifically Moodle for Teachers, and it kind of bothered me that, um, you know, they came in, they introduced themselves, and then when it came to actually creating um, the courses at the end, of the session in weeks four and five, they kind of disappeared. So what I decided to do is to get them to document the process as they learned. So what they do is they create video tutorials using Screencast-O-Matic and um, Poodle, which is uh, on the Moodle, and I'll be talking about that in a minute. So Moodle for Teachers began uh, in 2012. So it's been a nice journey these past six years. The idea behind Moodle, of course, is to get participants to collaborate and create a course at the end of the session. The second uh, EVO session that I've been involved in started in 2014, and that's teaching FL to young learners. And the reason I do both of these, and will continue hopefully to do both of them, is because I get a different, a variety of um, teachers, participants in the two sessions, and I like the feel of the two. What we do is um, we quickly get the participants to create video tutorials. Now, I'm always amazed at the fact that they do this so willingly. Uh, video tutorials and the right, so to speak, of teaching others um, seems to appeal to teachers. They prefer to teach than what they think learn, but actually, as I said, they're learning as they're teaching. But the idea of peer teaching through video tutorials seems to really, really appeal to them. So it's working, and I highly recommend it for other sessions to get uh, teachers to um, 
be active and not to leave after the um, introductory week. Uh, another way, as I mentioned before, is Poodle. Now, Poodle is simply a uh, gadget that's on the editor. This is an editor, and you can see it on the right here. There's a microphone, a video. You can also share um, an image and collaborate up with others, and you can also uh, get your uh, profile image up or any other profile where you happen, image where you happen to be. The man who created this uh, was actually an English language teacher. He's no longer doing that. Uh, living in Japan, he's originally from uh, New Zealand, and that's Justin Hunt. So he knows about language teaching, and he knew that this would be something that teachers can use as well as students. So teachers can present whatever they're doing and um, introduce uh, the weeks and the topics and uh, students can also be involved in teaching and the idea of course is not only to get teachers to teach as a way to learn but to get our students to be doing the teaching which is what jean paul had in mind when he started learning by from teaching or learning through teaching so this is how it's done there's my image so the idea behind Poodle, of course, is uh, to create a video. You can also have a selfie, which is very, very popular uh, with learners these days. Uh, get your audio in there and, of course, uh, drawings and all this from the editor. So again, there's the video at the top and, um, and there's the audio right next to it. Another way is that um, the editor helps out is it allows us to uh, bring everything into the Moodle from other places. So this is really engaging too. So you can bring whatever you've done on Dropbox, YouTube, you can upload videos, you can get your Google Drive, everything right into uh, Moodle and your course through the um, editor. The um, moderators of this year's EVO, we had over uh, 700 participants. We started out with two moderators because I thought that I would have less than 100, but I was surprised. So uh, it was very easy to get others to join us. So Harshita Kapoor and Zoriana Diak came from India and Ukraine. Uh, Rosemary Rivera is from Bolivia, and uh, I was also part of it. The overview of Moodle for Teachers EVO was first of all for the participants to learn how to use Screencast-O-Matic. And by the way, Screencast-O-Matic is completely free unless you want to get the uh, pro version. Um, you can create, they create video tutorials of whatever they do. In other words, whatever they're learning, whatever they're seeing on the screen, they share with each other. So there's a lot of learning and peer teaching involved. They learn about the layout and how to navigate as students. And then with the rights of teachers and managers, they get a special uh, right to be able to edit a course. So they're in a course, a demo course, and they uh, learn to manipulate whatever is there, the resources and activities as teachers and then later on as managers. Um, they use the system later on when they uh, design a collaborative course they each get individual sections and then they um, peer teach uh, what's wonderful about uh, moodle is that it has a teaming up process where you can start a team and others can join you you can leave a team and join we started doing this in weeks uh, two to four, so they had plenty of time to team up, get to know one another. The idea was for them not to leave. Um, I didn't want to bring statistics where, you know, they stay for the first week and then they leave. So I, I wanted them to stay, to get the most out of the collaboration and course building at the end of uh, the EVO session. So they teamed up from the beginning. They got to know one another. They felt uh, closer, they built communities as happens in each of these EVO sessions. So they developed a syllabus, of course, they used uh, Google Docs for this uh, together. They um, came up with learning objectives. I shared a template to make it easier for them, of course. 
and uh, then they chose their individual topic sections as a team. Uh, this is a little bit of showcase and reflect at the end. Uh, the link is available, so I think you can get it. Maybe Vance can help out. I'm going to try to make this as brief as I can, not to go over time, to allow others to speak. So this was done on Padlet. I also um, added Padlet to the Moodle. You can do this. Padlet is what's called an LTI, which means that you can add the Padlet and they can see it directly from the Moodle, even though they were adding things on the Padlet. If you're not familiar with Padlet, it's a great tool. You might want to look it up. Uh, for sharing, I use it uh, with my classes because um, right now I teach in a junior high. Even in junior high, I get my students to teach one another as a way to, uh, to learn. So you can see some of their comments. Uh, they were very, very appreciative. They felt that they had built a community and, and they didn't want it to end. They wanted it to go on and I was exhausted, but they wanted to go on because they felt that they wanted more, which is why I created a community where an Evo 18, uh, Evo community on Google so that we can continue. A little bit about teaching EFL to young learners. As I said, I wanted to have uh, different kind of participants. And since I teach young learners, I felt that as Vance has said, we learn when we teach, we learn when we take up roles. So uh, this is my way of learning. Um, the uh, moderators, we had one moderator for each week. I did the first week, the second week I did with Judy Wong for the United States. Cheryl McCoy did it together with Nevis in week uh, three. Charles Goodger uh, did the week in week four, and Julie Pratt, who couldn't be here today, did it in week five, in week four and five. Of course. Uh, the idea again, they learned the same thing to create screencast automatic. They had to do stuff. <laughs> And they had to demonstrate what they were doing. So if they were telling a story, they had to do it through video. And they had to document the process of creating it. So it's not just doing it, it's the process that's important. So the first week was, of course, to learn the layout. The second week was storytelling and drama with myself and Judy. Board games, they had to create board games. And then they had to document the process of how they created it. It was um, led by Nevis Teresi from Italy, uh, originally from Australia, and Cheryl from the United States. Action songs was Charles Goodger, living in Italy. He's also an entertainer, a songwriter, and an amazing human being who uh, is a very busy um, teacher. He teaches at the university, but he came for action songs because uh, that's wonderful for young learners. Low Resource Classroom with Julie Pratton. Um, was very, very important. Here they had to create actually material, all kinds of material for the classroom. And they had to, again, document the process of how they created it through um, video, through the video. And all this was uh, showcased and reflected again on Padlet. And uh, you can see some of their comments. This has been one of the most wonderful experiences in my short life as a teacher. And I can't be enough thankful to all of you, the moderator, the participants, and you can read and so on. Um, you know, that's what EVO is about. EVO is about um, building communities and building your PLN, getting to know more and more people around the globe which can't happen if you're only in your local school, unless you have uh, time to travel around the world, which most of us don't. So the idea is, of course, for learners to present, for the participant to present and learn by teaching each other and share whatever they learn publicly. And nobody said anything about, you know, what about privacy? Everybody wanted to share. Now, sharing within the EVO session and sharing uh, with the world, which is heartwarming. Uh, there were weekly digital badges, and you're not going to believe this. There was also a final certificate, but the participants preferred the weekly badges. They stayed up nights. Uh, one of the uh, moder co, co um, leaders of the EVO team, Natasha, said that she found it addictive. In other words, uh, the digital badges and staying up nights 
they never imagined that they would be so involved in getting the digital badges. They had to get them. And there were, of course, five digital badges, the final certificate um, everyone had, but it wasn't as wonderful as the badges. I don't know what happened here, but um, as I said, Screencast-O-Matic made it happen. Uh, being able to uh, use this tool has been amazing. They were able to share their videos on YouTube and Vimeo directly from Screencast-O-Matic. I'm so happy with Screencast-O-Matic that um, they're happy with me too, apparently, because they provided me with a lifetime um, account where I can actually bring Screencast-O-Matic as an LTI to uh, Moodle. So now Screencast-O-Matic is directly on the Moodle, so in our next EVO session, participants will be able to use it from the Moodle. So I'm really excited about that and can't wait to see how uh, it works. Uh, the references, uh, Learning by Teaching, there's quite a bit of literature on it. And uh, you're invited to take a look at the PowerPoint. I hope you'll get a chance to see it. It's on under my account on SlideShare. So um, Nellie Deutsch, or Dr. Nellie Deutsch on SlideShare. You can also find me uh, if you Google my name and you're welcome to connect because that's what it's all about. Uh, connecting for learning and learning together as uh, Vance so rightly says. So let me try to get out of this and stop screen sharing to let the next person do it, uh, which isn't as easy as I thought. So let me see if I can get Thank you, Nellie. Here. Yeah, okay, I stopped screen sharing. There Nellie we go. Deutsch about so, teaching as a way to learn, which is... Yes, uh, I didn't want to plagiarize and use uh, Jean-Paul's uh, learning, teaching by learning, or learning through teaching. So yes, teaching is a way to learn.